everybody, it's Jeff. Decided I'd finally uh, introduce myself to you guys and show this uh, scruffy face on YouTube. Um, just wanted to let you know a little bit about myself and uh, introduce my next build. So I'm 63 years old, be 64 in May. I'm married, been married for 33 years. Um, I started building kits when I was probably nine or ten. Built a lot of the Tom Daniels cars, um, a lot of dragsters and that kind of stuff too. Anyway, when I went to college, that went away. Um, then of course I started working. I uh, worked basically self-employed my entire life. I worked lots of times, a hundred plus hours a week. I had way more work than I knew what to do with. I built houses and I ran a warehouse and I did all kinds of things. But anyway, um, I about 20 years ago I decided I'd give uh, model building a go again. So I bought some kits, bought some tools and paint and, you know, started working on things. And really quickly I realized there just wasn't any time to do that. So I put it all away. And that's basically what my stash is. Um, after working all those hours, I got sick, ended up in the hospital, and uh, I had to retire early. I didn't really perceive that, but that's the way it goes. So, um, well, a year or so ago, I decided I'm going to start building again. I got out my stash and bought a few tools and started uh, working on some kits. But it was like working in a vacuum. Um, you know, basically I'm sitting near near by myself and, uh, you know, just messing with a kit and not really any anybody to bounce ideas off of or anything like that. And I found YouTube. So I started watching YouTube. I found a really great community. Had a, I saw a lot of great channels, a lot of great people. And I thought, you know, I think I might want to be a part of that. So, mm, early December, I think it was, I posted a video of my room, and, you know, I, I thought that went really well, had a good response, so January 1, I posted my first build of the uh, Workstat Craft Wagon, and uh, I had a great time building that, met some great people, people I consider friends, and, uh, Kind of got involved with the community a little bit. Built another kit with my grandson, uh, one of the Toon Tanks, and uh, got good response out of that. Then I built the Light Seal Support Craft, and that was a lot of fun. Had some really good feedback, some more friends, more people online, and um, I just wanted to continue that. So I'm just here to kind of introduce myself and show you the next thing I'm going to be building. I'm sure some of you are familiar with it, some of you are not, but uh, I've got one person that I know real well that uh, is going to be building this soon, and I thought I'd go ahead and kind of get started on it, let him see what the kit is about. So, um, here's what I got. Okay, the U.S. Army G7107. If I can keep the glare off the box. It's a kit 35380. I bought this kit back in November. I opened the box, took everything out of the bags, looked at the sprues, looked at the instructions, and got COVID. I'm sure it's not from looking at the kit. <laughs> anyway, um, put it all away and kind of says, oh, I'll get to it sometime soon. So uh, everything's out of the bags, and then, you know, nothing's been started. So I'm going to change the camera around and uh, I'll show you, you know, the instructions and the sprues a little bit. And then um, probably in the next video, I will get started on this. So hang on while I switch the camera and uh, be right back. Thanks, guys. And we're back. Here's the instructions for the uh, U.S. Army G7107 cargo truck. Uh, if you're at all interested in this kit, you can go to the Mini Art website and uh, download a set of the instructions. 
It's um, 22 pages plus the covers. I think there are one, two, yeah, four, four color schemes. This is the 12th Air Force 86th Cobra North uh, Pen Cat, uh, Cap Bond Pen Peninsula Tunisia. Boy, that's a mouthful. It's nice though. I really like the yellow star with the star there. This is uh, 1st Signal Battalion, 1st Armored Corps, 7th Army, Sicily, Italy, 1943. I like the camo on that. And then in the back, we have U.S. Army Service Forces, 9th Com Service Command, January 45. And we have U.S. Army Police, 7th Army France, 1944. Okay. Four choices. I believe this has 29 sprues, including the clear. So we'll go through this real quick. Here's the sprue map. Decals. Photo etch. Uh, it's got some chain. Um, one figure is included. I'm going to go through, I, most of the time when I build, I put it on my the instructions on my monitor. I'm going to do something a little different this time. Uh, Jason over at Model Kit Stuff suggested drawing a line around each uh, individual step because mini art doesn't do that. So there's step one, two, three, four and five all on this first page but there's no real way to tell what's what so they also letter some parts so we got a b and c and then in the parts they'll go down and they'll say two b's here um a is there c goes over here so i'm going to do what he suggested and i'm going to mark everything off before i get started so basically, one, two, and three are assembling the frame, putting in the gas tank. This kit includes some uh, forming parts uh, to form. These are bumperettes that go on the back. So they are brass. Uh, I'll have to kneel, uh, kneel those and uh, form them to the, uh, to the patterns here to where we get the shape we want. Four and five are the differentials. Um, six is putting on the rear differential, seven is assembling the transfer case, uh, more of six is putting the front differential on. So then eight is the battery in the battery box, nine is the, I'm not sure just what, the, I think it's something to do with the vacuum for the brakes, I'm not real sure just what that is. Hopefully I'll learn. And 10 is adding steering mechanisms and so forth. Very similar to the last mini art kit I built. Uh, 11 is putting on the brake drums and some braces and whatnot. 12 starts the engine. This is a Chevy six cylinder engine. I actually owned a 19, I actually owned two 1941 Chevy civilian pickups. 235 cubic inch and I think this is basically the exact same engine um, they used it for I think until late in the war and then they may have gone to a slightly larger displacement but they look the same um, step 13 we're adding drive shafts and the transfer case we built in step 7 and we're adding some string mechanisms these are all really delicate little parts and some photo etch and the steering box. One thing I had a problem with in the last build I had was there was no real clear definition of where the steering box went as far as the angle goes. So I'm not sure if I'll add that quite yet or wait until I get a little farther along to where I can make sure everything's lined up when I glue it in. 
then back to 16 we're finishing up the engine 17 is the transmission and then 18 we're going back to more engine parts and then uh, 19 we're adding the transmission to the back of the engine and the intake manifolds air cleaner 20 is the fan and the horn goes under the hood they attached the horn to the intake manifold I'm not sure just why but that's where they put it then uh, step 20 we're putting the engine in the frame putting together the spare tire front bumper and some of the uh, support structure for the rear um, cargo box and on to page 10 we're adding uh, some linkages the front drive shaft all uh, 23 we're adding some uh, these are these are basically tie downs I believe for the subframe it's like big u-bolts that go around the frame and hold everything together and then 24 we're starting on the cab got the firewall and some kick panels going together 25 we have the outside of the cab and then the inside of the cab to give you the detail the headliner and a mirror so the the uh, cab will have a detailed headliner not just just plastic like a lot of kits are then 26 we're doing the radiator in the shrouds 27 will be the exhaust got a little bit of photo etch to add to that um, looks like we actually have a piece of PE to roll to um, put around the muffler to give it some more detail that'll be interesting um, on there showing you with the uh, I'm not sure what this arrow is for here it's basically the same picture just um, a little more exploded view just it gives you a little more detail about where everything goes 29 is the door on the driver's side well first we got 28 and then we've got 29 so 28 we put the firewall together and we add the uh, oil filter and this is the voltage regulator and uh, there's a little oil can that goes on the firewall there that they just carry around with them 30 is the dash and there's some decals for gauges and for usually they put on the um, glove box like tire pressures and maximum speed and that type of thing so there'll be a couple of decals for that and then there's a couple of more decals that'll go up underneath the uh, uh, above the the windshield with some more information 31 is the kick panels and the uh, floorboards with all the uh, uh, brake pedal clutch pedal um, gas pedal and this is the starter the starter was not on the key you get in these trucks you turn the key on and then you press on the starter button and it would engage the starter and it also had a manual choke so if you didn't use the choke the first couple of times you started it it just wouldn't go learned the hard way <laughs> 32 is the inside of the cab, the back, and the seat. 33 is the passenger door. Uh, 34 is the brake, gear shift lever, and these are um, controls for probably like a PTO or something that you would have to uh, run various accessories. 35 would be putting the two together. Um, 36 you have a choice of open or closed doors um, really don't see any difference other than just where you decide to glue the you know the hinges and there's also a vent a cowl vent in the center here that you could open there was a knob up under the dash or maybe I think there was a crank on the dash you could crank open the okay I remember now it's been a while Underneath the dash there was a lever you could push and it would open the cowl vent. Then there was a crank on the dash that would actually crank the window open. 
And we got the windshield going in the frame. Uh, putting the cab on the frame and the radiator, a little more PE. This, I'm not sure what that is. Probably something to do with the fuel system. It's kind of hard to tell just exactly where that's going. Uh, one thing that really helps with a lot of these instructions is if you can't tell where a part goes, look through the next couple of pages because a lot of times there will be another drawing of it with that particular part in place. So we've got the back window with a grill over it, the uh, sides of the hood. And on the page 14, the fenders, and there's a variant there so you can choose two different ones. I will have to look and see. I don't have any idea. A65 and A62, so there's an option there. Uh, we'll have to take a look and see what that is. Then step 41, uh, it says make two. These are probably the front wheels. No, these are the rears because you get the tires going together and then the, the uh, sidewalls. So the rears and the fronts are similar but different. So those are two, make two rear wheels. Then they go back. This is what's so funny. Put the, put the uh, windshield on. And these are brackets that hold the windshield. In this particular instance, they're showing like wing nuts that hold the brackets to hold the window open or shut. These are extremely tiny and really finicky. And to tell you the truth, you really can't see them anyway. They're so small. But uh, we'll try and put them on. We'll see how it goes. 43 is headlights, turn signals the uh, blackout lights and so forth. 64 is windshield wipers and there actually is a couple of brackets for windshield wipers and some PE wipers. 45 is the front, uh, it's not necessarily a grill but it's like a guard and there is a former included so the photo etch has to be bent and it goes around the former to give you the shape you need and here's the other part of the front uh, grill and it goes on to a former to shape it and then the two parts will go together so that'll be interesting and then uh, 46 you've got a couple of internal braces and 47 we'll be putting that on the uh, grill and 48 is the hood, which you can have open or closed. And there is a, a brace there, so you'd have to decide if you wanted to show it open or closed. I may leave the hood loose to where I can just set it off and see the engine. Uh, I'll decide when the time comes. Here's a couple of tow hooks for 49. 50 is building the uh, box on the back. So we've got a couple of uh, pieces that go around the bottom that uh, have some PE on them. Here's the sides of the box. More work on the sides with some more photo etch. And then we'll put it all together in 55. And there's some chain and whatnot to um, to keep the tailgate, you know, if you want to put it down, you can decide if you want it open or closed. It looks like we have um, a couple of choices to make, whether we want to have the gate open or closed. Um, some mud guards to go under the back and some photo etch to, to hold them. And then we've got some, to some uh, tools to go on the side of the rear box. So we've got a pick and I believe there's a shovel and an ax, yeah. So we'll get those all painted up and put that all together. And then we put the box on with the tools on the side. Put the wheels on it. And then there's some barrels. There's eight barrels that can uh, we can put in the back. And we've got our choices of colors and ways of weathering and whatnot to make the barrels look a little more interesting. And here's our colors for our figure. And here's the chart for all the colors. I will probably use, I will definitely use Vallejo. That's pretty much what I have is all Vallejo. 
I'll check my paint supplies. I think I've already ordered all this stuff. I may need a couple of things, but I'll, I'll do that as soon as I'm done here. And if I need anything, I'll get it coming. So that's the, um, that's the uh, instructions. And then we'll take a quick look at some of the uh, plastic. This is um, FE sprue. We've got the top, the floor, and this is the actual inside of the headliner. It's got some detail in there, and then this is what you'd see from the outside. And then there's the back. This is the inside of the back, and then the seat. So that's basically all interior parts. Here's our engine. We've got uh, two sides of the engine, the oil pan, bell housing, bottom of the bell housing, uh, various pulleys and engine parts, water pump, intake manifold, uh, belts and pulleys, valve cover, etc. Should be a real detailed engine. I may try and put some spark plugs on it. We'll just have to see how things go. It sure makes them look a lot nicer when you've got the, some of the wiring. Okay, that's mostly the engine. Here's the two frame rails. This is this the frame ra frame of this is all separate pieces. So you got to be real careful and make sure that the frame is square when you put it together, or nothing else will fit. So, fir first thing you got to do is make sure that you get your frame all square. And I did notice there's a few ejector pins marks in here. I doubt you're going to see them. I'll check it out and I may do a little bit of filling, but they're very small. Mini Art's really good about putting these little uh, pins on here. And that's where most of the, you know, ejector pins hit are on these. So they don't get on the parts. Okay. Um, this is Sprue A. Okay, we've got fenders. There's our variations in the fenders. I'm not sure. Looks like we've got this little notch here is different. So we've got two different fenders. I'm not sure what that's for. There's the sides of the hood. And then we've got the transfer case, the brake drums, differentials, springs. Looks like part of the exhaust. This is probably the tie rods. We've got real nice detail. There's the radiator. There's the sidewall for the spare. We've got a gas tank. There's the hood. Some linkages, U-bolts, some hooks and whatnot. All look really, really good. And then uh, drive shafts and some other bracing and stuff like that that'll make the thing look really nicely detailed. Here's our wheels and tires. All you got to do is add the inside and paint, and paint them. Not like the last kit I built where each individual wheel was like seven or eight pieces. So this should go together real, real easy. The tread looks really nice. I'm sure that they'll look really good under some paint. Here's Two identical sprues B C. We've got differential covers, brake drums, some hubs, uh, mud flaps. I'm not sure that's probably a front hub. Um, there's the headlight and some other little bits and pieces that I'll have to look at the instructions for. There's our dash really really detailed this looks just like the dash that was in my uh, civilian pickup 41 Chevy and there's the floorboards and got the rear view mirror and some other little parts uh, that'll be really nice 
This is uh, screw DB, and this is mostly the bed. So there's the there's the floor of the bed, and the ends. This is some of the bracing and some of the sides. Not sure what that is, but we'll find out. It all looks real good. Okay. Here's our doors and our firewall. This is the inside of the doors. I see a broken part there. I'll glue that while it's all still on the sprue. That way it'll kind of keep all the alignment and everything good. Here's uh, door handle stuff. I see I'm missing a door handle. I don't know if I lost it, you know, when I took things out of the bag or just what happened, but I'll, I may have some spare uh, 135 door handles from another kit, or I might have to make one. Anyway, there's the windshield frame and the steering wheel and a few other. There's a gear shift lever, handbrake, that type of stuff. Here's an identical pair, BH. Um, just little clamps and parts, nothing, nothing really uh, too much, but it adds more detail to the kit. Here's the formers for the, the grill and the bumperettes. So these won't actually be used once the kit's made, but they'll be for the photo etch to bend everything into shape. Definitely going to have to um, have to anneal things to get all that to work and stay in that shape. Here's the tools. Got an axe, the pick, and a shovel, and the little um, carrier. This is a sprue. EB. Okay, this is EF. It's got some of the springs and some of the, I believe that's the front cross member, some probably brake linkages, and a few other little parts. So to build up to a really nice detailed little look here. And then we've got four identical sprues. This is uh, BE. Okay. We've got the tops of the barrels, tops and bottoms. This is a little transfer pump, and this is a gas filler. Um, I'm not sure, just I think they've included, yeah, they included the same thing. So you've got four of these, four of these, but you know, the, the lids will be used for two barrels, top and bottom. There's no hoses to, to use with this. If I, I looked when I built my last one for a, a hose I could use on that, and I never could come up with anything. But if you could come up with a hose to uh, attach to that and that, you could look like somebody was filling a truck or a tank or something like that. And here's the barrels. We've got uh, eight sprues, all the same. BB. So we've got two different styles of barrels here. So we got ones with ridges and ones with just the three uh, smooth sections. So we'll end up with a couple of different style, styles of barrels when they all go together. I may be wrong. It may be that there's, uh, let's see, BB, BB, BB. Beep, 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 beep. No, nope, they're all the same. So we'll have to see how that all goes together. Oh, I think he just flipped the barrels for which side. So anyway, those are all, all identical, I guess. And here's our figure. We got uh, arms, legs. Head, hat, and it looks like a pistol. So we got a figure to paint for, for this also. I've got uh, decals for our four options. Look really nice. Uh, these go down really, really well. Um, 
These are printed in the Ukraine. I'm not sure just who does it. Uh, Deco Grieve? I don't know. It's so tiny I can't read it there. But anyway, um, mini art decals from what experience I've had uh, go down really, really nice. And here's our clear parts, and they are pretty darn clear. Really, really nice. And one last thing. The photo etch. Okay. Lots of little bitty parts. These are really, really nice. They're really, really delicate. Oh, here's the grill for the back window. Here's parts for the front grill. I see they include two. I'm not sure just why. These are probably hooks for the bed. Have to be bent. There's the battery box. Those right there, if you can see them, are the little uh, the little braces that, that hold the, the uh, windshield open if you have it open. Very, very, very tiny, and a few other a few other things. We'll have to anneal this stuff for sure. I think those are uh, gas tank. Um, straps to hold a gas tank down. But anyway, that's the kit. And we're going to get started with it here real, real soon. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm having a great time and look forward to seeing, um, starting on this real, real soon. Okay, guys, have a great day. <music>